I'm very happy and proud uh, that we're doing this, and which is uh, signing of the Declaration of Amsterdam for NWO, the Dutch Research Council. And I want to introduce uh, Professor Margot Wijnen and, Mar and, and also Bianca Nijhoff from uh, Workplace Pride. And uh, uh, Margot, uh, introducing her, is member of the executive board of NWO and also the chairperson at NWO for the Domain Applied Engineering Sciences. And she's also a professor at Delft University of Technology. And uh, I'm so happy that you're, you want to do this, because this, this really shows that NWO is, is, is really um, wants to improve the life of LGBTI people at, at the workspace, but also in general, just making people feel at home at work. Uh, aside. At home and safe, yeah. at ease, so yeah. that they can um, perform, yeah. and so that they can focus on their talents and their goals in science. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, very happy. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I give my mic to Duncan. Uh, Shall we take the logos as a background? I think we can do that. Yes. I think uh, so. We both have our own. I'm very happy to be here with you, Margot. Um, and as I said today, when when we started today, I said Workplace Pride is there to support organisations to be very inclusive on LGBTI policies and practices. Mm -hmm. And I think the Declaration of Amsterdam is our call to action. I'm very happy for NWO uh, that today together, both of us, we are signing this. But um, your reason for signing it, NWO's reason for signing this. Yes, NWO has a, has a reason to, um, well, I would say there are several reasons here. I see it as a moral imperative. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. To provide an inclusive, to, f to provide a safe working environment for all our employees. And uh, on top of that, we also have a responsibility to uh, encourage um, a development uh, in science so that it is a, a better representation of society at large. Mm -hmm. I think all of us can see with our own eyes that it is far from that in its current state. And I think it's for the, uh, the, the sake of science and for the sake of society at large that we must cherish diversity in, 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 uh, in, th in, this, in this field. Uh, so, and there is still a lot of uh, work uh, to do. I'm, uh, I'm fully aware of that. And, but I think if we succeed in, in making science much more representative for society, that it is also easier for people outside the realm of scientific research to yeah. feel more affinity with scientific research. So, and I think that is uh, uh, um, um, an ingredient for more trust of society in science. Yeah. So the declaration is really, it's, it's towards your own employees, but it's certainly also towards it's the outside It's towards world. the field, yes. We have, we have two responsibilities, I would yeah. say. We are an employer, yes. Uh, uh, and well, I think in many ways uh, the, the, um, uh, our field of um, our labor force is certainly not representative yet for society at large. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, but we also have a greater responsibility uh, as, a, as a financer of scientific research for, uh, for the wider field. Yes, for academia and for um, knowledge institutes. So, so that's, um, yes. I think, very clear. So very, very happy that we're uh, going to do this. Yeah, yes. Uh, if you give me uh, yep. a few minutes, then, uh, th then I can just say just, uh, just a little bit more. Uh, I would f certainly like to congratulate you with this Workplace Pride event. And, I, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I think, for all of you and all of us that, that, that uh, we cannot have it as a physical uh, event. I know how much organizational effort goes into this. Uh, and I also know that after so many months, more than a year of, of COVID uh, restrictions, uh, really everyone is looking forward is, is to, to, to having just more social contact. Um, and online, well, you know, the 3D world is better than just uh, the two, uh, 2D online uh, world. But I, as I said, I'm really proud to sign the uh, Amsterdam Declaration today on behalf of the executive board of the Dutch Research Council as a confirmation of the commitment of NWO to ensure a safe working environment for all our employees, uh, an, an environment uh, without harassment in which all of us feel respected for who we are 
and for what we contribute to the organization and to society. And I was trying, you know, to think of something of my own personal experience, and it may be a very odd comparison, but I would like to recall that more than 50 years ago, I was in high school. Well, that's nothing special, but this was an all-girls high school. I'm from the southern part of the country, which was at that time still deeply Catholic. Um, and it was only when I started my studies at Delft University of Technology that I found out how it is to stand out from the crowd, because suddenly I was part of a very small minority of less than 5% female students. And since then, a lot has improved in terms of gender equality and gender balance, but we also know we are not there yet. I uh, think only of the Me Too signals of the past few years. Um, and of course, I said it, is an, it may be an odd comparison. I'm keenly aware that the troubles I experienced are probably very, very minor compared to the troubles of the LGBTIQ plus community. Well, the Dutch uh, Research Council uh, has uh, engaged in this benchmark uh, that was, uh, I think, done last uh, spring of the quality of our um, LGBTIQ plus um, uh, policy plans. And from the uh, report, from the benchmark report, followed a number of actions. And I can assure you, we are now working on them. Uh, part of these uh, are concerned, well, I think they are all here already. Um, uh, it's, it, it, it's about more structural support of the LGBTI uh, uh, plus um, um, community. And it's also uh, a check, for example, on uh, how ex inclusive are our labor conditions. Are they really inclusive? And should that be improved, uh, for example? Well, and as I said, NWO also has this great responsibility to support a wide range of underrepresented groups in society uh, in gaining a foothold in the science uh, field um, and in uh, enabling them to make a career in science uh, like uh, um, so many white males have done uh, already. Um, and so you can think of for uh, example, for example, of you know our specific uh, uh, tailor-made financing instruments for uh, researchers with a migration background, especially those from non-Western countries, or um, uh, scientists uh, um, uh, of the refugee uh, community. Uh, for them, it's also quite difficult to to gain a foothold in uh, in the in the scene. Um, and, and we still have instruments, you know, 50 years later for women eh, in, 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 in those fields of science that are still very much dominated by men. And I'm sorry to say that um, we are not doing fair so good there yet. Eh, in the um, uh, NWO institutes, still less than 30% of the workforce is, uh, is, is female, less than 30%. I was quite astonished to, uh, to see that. So there is still a lot of work to do also in that area of diversity. Um, we also train members of selection committees and also reviewers of proposals to see how biased they are. And so uh, uh, in, in an effort to make them overcome these biases in these uh, selection processes. Um, because that's, I think, part of our responsibility. But I'm also convinced that all the efforts that we make in this area will be in vain or may even backlash if our credibility is at stake here. And our credibility also hinges on how we behave as an employer. So if we do not succeed as an employer to erase biases, and if we do not succeed as an employer in creating a safe working environment for each and every one of our own employees, then how credible are we? Uh, this, is, this is something that, that uh, is firmly on my, <laughs> on my mind as well. And I know that within academia, especially in the Netherlands, many are inclined to think that um, LGBTIQ plus is already fully accepted. Uh, 
But I think this Workplace Pride event underscores that this is not yet the case, that there is still a lot of work to do, that uh, we are aware of, you know, diversity is also cultural diversity. We have many researchers from more conservative countries where LGBTIQ plus is not at all accepted. Uh, so how do we deal with that? So therefore, it is important that we, NWO, shows its commitment to ensure a safe working environment for all our people, in which all members um, of our workforce and all members of the LGBTIQ plus community feel respected, feel included, feel at ease, at home, so that you can make the most of your talents and your efforts. So I want to conclude again with the beginning. I'm really proud to sign the Declaration of Amsterdam today on behalf of NWO. Thank you for organizing. <laughs>